All right, man, I didn't believe this when I read this. I thought it was fake news, but it's real, all right? Um, I believe screenwriter Howard Allen Gregory uh, wrote the script for Harriet Tubman. He said it's been 26 years in the making. And when he took the script to a Hollywood executive to, you know, to finish, you know, putting the finishing touches on getting a deal for the movie to be on the big screen, he said one Hollywood executive told him that they should get Julia Roberts to play Harriet Tubman, you know, and I guess when he was like, hey, you know, what are you talking about? Harriet Tubman was black, all right? He says, it was so long ago, nobody's going to remember. So let's talk about it. We back, Good Fellow Sports TV. Make sure you hit the subscribe button, bell icon button, share the video. You know, I was just seeing like a little meme with uh, Idris Elba in there, and they said people mad over, um, you know, a uh, black man possibly playing James Brown, but have no problems with white people playing Egyptians. Okay, and this show this just truly shows you how they respect our history as black history, and they don't respect it. There's no way that they was gonna get away with Julia Robertson playing Harry Tubman. Now, since they probably didn't get their way, and um, you know, since they you know they couldn't get the movie how they wanted to put the movie and make Harry Tubman white, and they didn't promote the movie. I didn't see one commercial for this movie. I didn't see one promo ad on social media for this movie. I didn't see one commercial or ad on YouTube for this movie. You know how you, you know, you look in and you, you, you automatically see something that, you know, on your phone. You might have been looking at Nike.com and Nike ads start popping up on your Facebook screen and stuff of that nature. I seen nothing of that for the Harriet Tubman movie. I didn't even know a Harriet Tubman movie was coming out until Town Business did a video on it. Y'all go subscribe to Town Business Sports and Entertainment. I didn't know it was a I didn't know it was a movie until he said it, the numbers did bad. But I went to the movies to see a few movies not too long ago, and I seen no promos for him Harriet Tubman movie. Now had Julia Roberts got the role, or somebody white became Harriet Tubman, that that movie would have been running. That 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 inform, the, inform, the commercials, the ads, the promo would have been crazy for the movie. But they did that with that movie Egyptian Gods, whatever it was called. And they made all the Egyptians white, but nobody had backlash for it, you know. But at the end of the day, this movie should have came out one in Black History Month in February. It would have been a huge play. And they purposely put it on in, what, November, October? They did that on purpose. They did everything so this movie couldn't succeed. But that just shows you how much how, how they respect us, man. They don't. They don't. They do anything to alter our history. That's why we don't know. We come from people say, well, we from Africa. And yeah, I mean, come on, it's a thousand freaking countries in Africa. And it's been proven that a lot of black Americans' ancestries are our ancestors are not African. They're not from Ghana, they're not from Nigeria. You know what I'm saying? They have similar head sculptures, you know what I'm saying, and bone structures, but it's been proven a lot of people are not African descent, which is it's a broad there's no way you could be African descent. African American, like what part of Africa? You got Ghana, Zimbabwe, Egypt, and they always trying to erase our history for a reason. That's the biggest mystery on the planet: who we are. But for them to slap us in the face and try to get Julia Roberts, it was so long ago nobody remembered. That's crazy. You got to wonder what Julia Roberts have took that role. I don't know too much about Julia Roberts, but you got to ask what she would have took that role. In the backlash, she would have faced taking that role. You know, I'm just looking at her. She don't look too stupid like she would have done it. But another problem with this movie is, once again, they doing things backwards. Like that movie Detroit. They made a movie about Detroit. I'm from Detroit. But they shot it in Boston. Like, well, nobody supporting that. You know, Snowfall. The dude, Idris Alba's little brother is the Snowfall. He supposed to be Free Ray Rick Ross. That's what the kind of the story is built on. He from uh, the UK. And the woman that played Harriet Tubman in the movie, she from the UK too, the United Kingdom. So how do you have a great American uh, 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 a hero story with a British person playing Harriet Tubman? That's another reason people probably didn't support it. Out of all the great older American actors they could have got or up-and-coming actors, they go to the UK. You know, and they infringing on our, on our or, or they, they being imposters on our culture. You thinking they black and they switching they, they language up, they learn to talk like we talk without the English accent 
You come to find out he's from the UK. Out of all these black actors we got we got out here, you know what I'm saying, that need roles, that we see them in the, in the movie and then we see them in a fucking Allstate commercial and they want to get a role to a British actor. Of course we're not supporting that. I'm just keeping it real. No, no, no disrespect to Harriet Tubman and what she represented, everything she went through. But that's that's just as big a smack of a face as you trying to get Julia Robert playing Harriet Tubman. But hey, let me know what you guys think. I'll link the article in the description. Don't forget to be on Facebook, Instagram, or Twitter. You can reach out to the email. If you got business questions, choir response, ship, video requests, want to make a donation, link description. Best way to donate, share the video. And for more videos like this, check my music or entertainment playlist and just let it ride on autopilot. You're definitely going to enjoy it. But I appreciate the love, support, one time for the one time. Good for the Sports TV. We go.